Tim Howard alongside me here in the studio, along with World Cup winner, European Championship winner uh, with France, Frank Leboeuf. And that is not what France are going to do this time around. They are not going to match that achievement. No, I I'm sad in a way for the fans. But again, um, I, I, I won't say that I'm happy for, for the Swiss, but they, they deserve to win. They really deserve to win. They did everything they had to do to win it, where definitely the, the, the French team uh, didn't do what they had to do. And they, so many regrets, so many maybe uh, uh, stuff to say about them and how they play or where, how they didn't play. And, um, and they will have to analyze that and, uh, and see what they have to do after that. Yeah, you can only feel the joy from the, the Swiss camp there because they are in the quarterfinals of this competition for the first time ever. And they showed such resilience throughout the match, Tim. Well, this is what it's all about. We talk about the, the, one of the favors going down. You feel sorry for them, but you can't. This is the joy of football. I mean, these players have probably never been more high in their life. I'm not sure how long it's going to take for that man to go to sleep tonight. Yes, long time, like, long yeah. time. Well, to, to, yeah, I think he took off just after. The... <laughs> I think he waited just to check that it was a legal save, that his well, feet I'm... had been on or behind the line, and then yeah. that split second, and he went. I felt, I felt that it would be a problem for Kylian Mbappe. You know, stars normally get the fifth uh, shootout to, to get all the credit, but sometimes it goes against them. And I felt that Summer was on the... On, the, on his way to, uh, to a miracle. And I have to say that if he did save the, the penalty, Kylian didn't shoot it very well. He shot it on what they call the gloves area. Uh, and uh, and uh, it's what happened. And, they had a, and Summer had a strong hand mm. and saved it. It's just been an, an extraordinary story. Switzerland and the way that they've played throughout this competition, they're going into this against Spain. But in the way they've played through this competition, they're more than just that solid, functional team than, than perhaps we thought at the start? Well, I think we saw today they controlled the ball in the wide areas. I thought Zuber was very, very good in terms of dragging his team up the pitch, getting touches on the ball, spinning out. And yes, they, they've they shown they can be clinical when given opportunities. I mean, their, their goals today were really well taken. There was no shock or surprise in that regard. Uh, no surprise, no, uh, in that regard, but it is a huge shock. Frank, that France have gone out of this tournament. It is a shocker. It is a, a slap in the face. I think there will be a revolution because it would be unacceptable and, uh, and accepted by the, by the fans, by the medias. Something will happen. I don't know if Deschamps will be out, if some players won't be uh, uh, selected again. I don't know what's going to happen soon. But of course, it's unexpected. But you have to respect football. Uh, and uh, you, you shouldn't be complacent too, uh, uh, too much. And I think France uh, against Hungary um, tonight or today, uh, they were and in that, at some point complacent, they didn't do what they had to do uh, to respect football, and they've been smashed back. Granit Xhaka, we just saw there arguing as he came <laughs> off. He's not even complacent now, and the game's finished. They've gone to penalties, <laughs> they've gone to everything. But look, the, the moments that we mm. saw in, in this game, the ones that, that turned it, the ones that showed us exactly what we can expect from, from Switzerland, was really the penalty that they missed within the, the 90 minutes. Yeah. And that it felt as though that, that was it. It, it, it turned. It, the momentum had gone in, in France's favor. Well, that's what, I, it's what we talked about. It, it turned massively. They missed, they missed the penalty. And then next thing you know, France goes down and scores, twice take the lead, and, and, and all of a sudden they're knocked back. So Hugo Lloris with the, the save from, from this penalty. And it, it, matches feel like they turn on these moments. Mm. Yeah, that's uh, that's amazing because uh, Hugo uh, hasn't got a, a very good record on, the, on on stopping penalties, but he did very well. But suddenly it changed everything, and it was a real turn of heaven. We didn't see Benzema all game long, but we saw him for three minutes when he scored two goals. And but Switzerland yeah. came back. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN Plus.